Draft weekend was a wild time. And I'm not just talking about the selections or the trades. Trading the first overall pick of night two. Oh, oh. that's the home wrecker right there. Almost suplexed him. This year's draft had a ton of strange occurrences. Here are the 12 most awkward moments of the 2022 NFL draft that you may have missed. Roger Goodell, two years too late on Charles Cross. If this was 2021, we would have forgiven Goodell for displaying some rust. The Seattle Seahawks held the number 9 selection in the 2022 draft and decided to take Mississippi State offensive tackle Charles Cross. The Seahawks handed the card in to the commissioner, who went straight to the microphone, only to commit this little boo-boo. With the ninth pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, how do you butcher this announcement by two whole years? Sorry, Roger, but Cross was only 19 years of age at the time of the 2020 NFL Draft. Then again, Goodell has had to call how many draft selections in front of millions of people on television in his life? You're not going to get them all right, I guess. Wayne Newton's Draft Pick Botch Wayne Newton is a living legend in Las Vegas. He's one of the most beloved and respected entertainers in the city's rich music history. And you fans of the James Bond 007 series may recognize him as Professor Joe Butcher from the License to Kill film. The Raiders didn't have any draft picks in the first or second rounds because of the blockbuster Devontae Adams trade. Their first selection was the 90th pick of the draft, and with Vegas hosting this year's event, who better to come in and announce the pick than Mr. Wayne Newton himself? All right. Just about anybody. Newton appeared to be absolutely hammered when he came onto the stage to announce the selection of Memphis guard Dylan Parham. Dylan Parham! From Mississippi! Not only that, but Newton actually needed assistance to read a few simple words. Select! We'll do it together. With all due respect to Mr. Newton and his special legacy in Sin City, we'd recommend the Raiders use different celebrities for future draft pick announcements. Dylan Parham from Mississippi! It's uh, Dylan Parham from Memphis. Ed Marinaro's pick announcement becomes his life story. Former NFL running back and Blue Mountain State star Ed Marinero had the honors of announcing the number 42 selection for the Minnesota Vikings. It was a nice gesture by the Vikings because Marinero had been drafted by their franchise 50 years earlier, at number 50 overall. All Marinero had to do was say, with the 42nd pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Andrew Booth Jr cornerback Clemson. But perhaps enjoying the spotlight a little too much, Marinero proceeded to take a whopping three minutes to announce the Vikings' second round pick. The significance of me being here, I was in my little apartment in Ithaca, New York. Anyway, it was a great experience. But here's the thing. It could have been even longer if not for the unsung hero of Draft Weekend. That hero was an NFL draft producer who actually had to run onto the stage and instruct Marinero to read the card. Otherwise, who knows how much longer he could have gone for. Anyway. Is he going to get to the early? We, there you go. I, read the, the, I can't read the card. She wants me to read the card. Right. Marinero's storytelling finally ended, and Booth eventually got to hear his name called during one of the biggest moments of his life. With the 42nd pick in the 2022 NFL draft, the Minnesota Vikings select... Defensive back Andrew Booth from Clemson. Sauce Gardner gets lost. With the number four selection in the 2022 draft, the New York Jets selected Cincinnati cornerback Ahmad Sauce Gardner. Donning a fancy suit and custom sauce necklace, a thrilled Gardner slowly walked his way to the stage. With the fourth pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Sauce Gardner. <laughs> then he started to jog towards the podium, only to be told that he was heading in the wrong direction. So a baffled Gardner quickly changed his route and then jogged towards the real path towards the stage. It starts right here with this stroll. We're now a little bit of a jog to the podium. This guy didn't allow a single touchdown in coverage during his time in college, and yet he couldn't find his way to the stage? I absolutely adore this kid. And look at him. See, change, see the change of direction? <laughs> I mean, it's really strong right there. Don't worry, Jets fans. We're sure Gardner won't get lost covering opposing receivers the way he did on his big draft night. 
Kenny Pickett's fiance is all of us after a bad day. The 2022 NFL Draft was not regarded as a great class for quarterbacks. Surely a few of these guys would go in round one, right? And at least one of them would be a top 10 selection. But nope. As time continued to pass, it was becoming abundantly clear that Pickett and the other top quarterback prospects were gonna slide. Once the Carolina Panthers, Atlanta Falcons, and New Orleans Saints passed on QBs, the signal callers knew they'd have to wait a while. Amy Paternoster was visibly upset throughout the draft as teams continued to pass on her man. Not that you can blame her. Nobody ever wants to wait all night for the ultimate life-changing moment. Finally, though, the Pittsburgh Steelers decided to select the Pittsburgh product with the number 20 selection. Understandably, Pickett, Paternoster, and the rest of those in attendance at this draft party couldn't hide their excitement. All's well that ends well. Tiger King. Remember Joe Exotic, aka the Tiger King? The main character of the Tiger King series that really went off on Netflix during the early stages of the COVID-19 pandemic? The likes of Joe Exotic and Carol Baskins have quietly faded out of the spotlight now that we aren't all stuck at home streaming every show imaginable. But again, this is Vegas and the 2022 NFL Draft, so of course we shouldn't be surprised to see someone from the Tiger King series play a role in this event. John Phillips, the lawyer of Joe Exotic, and his wife Angela attended the 2022 draft. Angela took center stage for a few moments as she was seen with several Jaguars fans celebrating and waving pom-poms. There's your reminder that Tiger King will never really go away. Devin Lloyd picks up Roger Goodell. It's always awesome to see NFL players happily greet the commissioner on stage after he announces their names on draft day. Oftentimes, Goodell is ready for the handshakes, hugs, or little dance moves that the guys come at him with. But Goodell was certainly taken by surprise when Devin Lloyd gave him one giant bear hug after the latter was selected 27th overall by the Jacksonville Jaguars. It almost looked like Lloyd was planning to deliver a Brock Lesnar WWE-style suplex on the commissioner. Lloyd Lloyd measures at 6'3 and 237 pounds, so we're gonna call that the most painful hug of Goodell's life by far. Chris Angel's magic trick? Beloved magician Chris Angel has enjoyed much of his career success right here in Las Vegas. And you know, with Vegas being the city of entertainment, why not bring in the legendary illusionist to perform a trick for the audience? If you ever watched the Chris Angel Mind Freak program way back in the day, you saw this man pull off a bunch of really cool tricks. You know, walking on water, disappearing underneath a tablecloth, plus all those Harry Houdini-like escapes. One of the world's absolute best magicians of all time, no doubt about it. But, uh, the whole spinning around rapidly thing while escaping out of a jacket was a little more awkward than entertaining. <laughs> a little more like he was rocking out to some 70s tunes here. Angel also did this same trick before the Las Vegas Raiders Week 5 2021 home game against the Chicago Bears. Go! Don't you think that they should have had him try, I don't know, something different for the draft? By the way, this is how it used to be as a Jet fan watching the draft. You think this is hard? Try doing a mock draft. <laughs> Colt's disastrous Jelani Woods selection announcement. The Cheeky Boyos are a well-known TikTok group based in Indiana. Their videos have garnered over 300 million likes, and the Cheeky Boyos have over 10 million followers on their TikTok page. The Colts had the Cheeky Boyos announce that they were selecting Virginia Titan Jelani Woods with the number 73 pick in the draft. But the whole announcement was odd from the very beginning. <laughs> Oh my word. Everyone watching had a pretty hard time determining if this was actually a part of the act or if they just botched the entire thing. I don't know if this is an act or not. It is Vegas. Either way, Woods certainly got to learn in a unique way that he was the newest member of the Indianapolis Colts. With the 73rd pick in the 2022 20, NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts select Jelani Woods. Eagles fan shoots his shot 
and fails. Being rejected is no fun. Whether it's for a school application, job application, or, uh, well, trying to shoot your shot with someone on live television. So anyway, what happens when you put an Eagles fan in the bonanza that is the 2022 NFL Draft in Vegas? Some sort of craziness is bound to ensue. That's for sure. The Eagles superfan was briefly interviewed by reporter Rachel Bonetta during the draft. You couldn't help but try to sweep her off her feet, but Bonetta wasn't the least bit interested. Uh, you know, the fans have been amazing, the draft picks have been great, but I've been waiting all this time to see you. Rather than try to play it friendly on camera, she handed the dude five bucks to just go away. And hey, he happily took it. Wow, take that. Still a very awkward moment. Ice Cube screams into microphone. It was cool of the NFL to bring in Ice Cube for the start of the NFL draft, but uh, maybe they should have done a sound check first. Because Ice Cube was screaming right into the microphone. What's up, Las Vegas? Let's get this party started right! The mic was clearly faulty, leading to speculation that the legendary rapper inadvertently broke the microphone. If y'all ready for this draft, let me hear you say, yeah! Oh, yeah! Fortunately, when Las Vegas Raiders quarterback Derek Carr took over for Ice Cube on the microphone, everyone's ears were given a much-needed break. So let's make some noise for these young guys and these teams. Welcome to our great city of Las Vegas. Thank you. Come here. Roger Goodell gets lost on Kayvon Thibodeau's handshake. Months before the draft, Oregon defensive end Kayvon Thibodeau and Michigan star Aiden Hutchinson were considered the front runners to go first overall. But Thibodeau's stock gradually declined in the weeks leading up to draft weekend, as questions about his character and work ethic seemingly scared several teams away. Not the New York Giants, though. They were thrilled to take him with the number five selection. A pumped up Thibodeau attempted to perform a creative handshake with the NFL. NFL commissioner when he went to greet Goodell on the stage. Unfortunately for Thibodeau, Roger quickly forgot the choreography and was unable to keep pace. Now that he's in the big leagues, Thibodeau may want to take some extra time in practice to work on his handshakes with his Giants teammates. He doesn't want to be screwing those up during a nationally televised game like he and Roger did at the draft. But what were some other awkward moments from the 2022 NFL Draft? Did we miss any? Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.